16 gram mushroom trip report, posted to the Shroomers subreddit by Joshua Dude three years ago. Disclaimer, this is a fairly large dose and should not be attempted by the ill-prepared. This last Wednesday, I had the most profound and otherworldly mushroom trip of my entire life. I ate 15.76 grams in total, the largest dose I have ever taken. My last trip had been almost two months before. I typically like to space out my trips to the same day once every three to four months, but for whatever reason, I've been feeling hesitant and hadn't tripped in a long time. I've been reading lately about psychedelic shamanism and the ability for shamans to enter the so-called spirit world and communicate with spirits who share the knowledge. I've been very intrigued by the notion of it and feel as though I've had similar experiences entering this dimension before, but without any comprehension of what was actually happening. I made my usual preparations, set up my notebook, had my bong loaded so that I wouldn't have to do it later, the old ceremonial bowl of shrooms weighed out in front of me as well, all the essentials. After I'd completely consumed the bowl of cubensis, I wrote down what I wanted to accomplish for the trip, what I wanted to take away from it and such. Basically, what I wanted was to communicate with a spirit and acquire information from it to help me in everyday life and aid in my understanding of the universe and myself. I've had trips before where I'd witnessed entire lifetimes of other humans from a period in history way back, but during those trips, I only felt as if I was a bystander. I was aware of their presence, but I felt at the moment that I could not communicate nor interact with the entities or projections even if I wanted to. Although, I could absolutely feel they were there, even if they only existed in my mind. I thought that maybe if I focused hard enough, with a large dose, I could communicate directly with one of them. Luckily for me, I was not disappointed this time. It was about an hour before the mushrooms really started to take a hold of me, and right away I knew that this one would be a pretty intense ride. I usually begin my trips by focusing intently on my breath. This gives me a good point of focus that helps to ease me into the intensity and sporadic nature of the come up and peak of the trip. My very first visions were of the world falling to shambles because of what seemed like a feud for resources by our world leaders and an increasing pressure on our ecosystem. There were divergent groups of people resorting in a sort of tribalistic animosity. Our population had reached a breaking point and desperation was rampant among all classes of people the whole globe was in pain and crying out for help. It felt as though a dark sickness had been slowly spreading and contaminating the heart of global human consciousness up until the point of our destruction. But, despite the chaos, something told me that it was alright. It seemed as just a microscopic piece of time and space and that made nothing matter. I was not scared in the slightest. I knew I could defend my mind from the sickness and corruption that seemed everywhere around me. It was shortly after this that I was teleported to a completely different place mentally. I'm hesitant to say this at the risk of sounding cliche, but it felt as though my mind had completely opened and enveloped me as a whole. My individual consciousness felt separated from my physical self, and I was in what I can only rationally call the fourth dimension. It was a space unlike anything I was previously familiar with. At first, there were no forms other than an endless Fibonacci spiral, and I was soaring through it. I felt the presence of spirits and entities all around me. They existed in each strand and speck of the spiral, and this time, I sensed they were aware of my presence. At this moment, I felt completely ethereal, like an omnipresent god. I could know the inner minds and motivations of any other thing, because I was in a dimension where at the time, I believed consciousness itself to exist. Some spirits were much bigger and more present than others. Some were absolutely benevolent and peaceful, and some were greedy, selfish and evil. I sensed that these spirits were what pulled the strings behind our regular perception of reality. I tried to communicate with some of them like I'd wanted to. However, while they seemed aware of me, they also seemed too busy to stop and give me much attention. By this point, the spiral had subsided and I was in a dreamlike state. After I'd given up on trying to communicate, I felt my late grandma come to me and stay right next to me in this dark and extremely vague plane of floating geometric shapes and empty space not making a physical appearance or saying anything, but I could tell she was with me in this space. Slowly, I began to come back to my living room, and I could hear the music again. I was listening to tribal drums and flutes. The music seemed to be felt in the very core of me, and I began to dance. I danced in a circle around my living room coffee table, while the drums beat intensely, and it was truly amazing. At one point during the experience, it felt like I was suspending a giant ball of energy in the centre of the room and that ball was just about to explode with light and spread a giant wave of positive energy throughout my whole house, but unfortunately, it never did. 
After about three hours and an intense yet pleasurable vomiting episode, my positive high energy began to turn into a blissful relaxed state. For the rest of the night, I smoked a few bowls of marijuana and reflected on friends, family and recent memories of my life, the trip included. I couldn't believe what had actually happened. Almost three days later, I was still in awe over it. I took a lot from that trip and I'm very grateful for it. May you all feed the positive spirits that reside in your mind. Don't let fear, greed, self-loathing or any other entity of corruption fill the space of your thoughts. Spread a message of love and optimism to all those you know and meet. You can be a deployer of positivity in the universe. It was spread out as well as in. Peace to you all, Joshua.